Hey there, Ubers. Welcome back to Matted Screen Media Reviews. I have a splitting, horrible, terrible migraine going right now. It is one of the worst I've had in months. Uh, I only get maybe one or two like this a year, so I was just desperately hoping for some fun. And I tried taking a look at the new Ghostbusters trailer that just premiered on Facebook. I thought that would do the trick. I was wrong. Pretty much from the get-go, I don't, I, I'm really, as a critic, someone who is paid to review movies and Blu-rays, I struggle with trying to be positive. I don't want to be a film cynic. I want to be somebody who embraces every movie that I see and tries to give them their own shot on the, based on their own merits. And that gets really hard when you watch a movie trailer like this one that seems to be going out of its way to not engage the fans in any meaningful way. Uh, Ghostbusters is already going up a very, very steep hill by completely changing the cast. It's a remake, reboot, whatever they want to call it. Um, people have taken issue with the fact that there is an all-female cast. I personally don't care about that. I really dig this cast. I want to enjoy them. I've liked Kristen Wiig, I've liked Kate McKinnon, I've enjoyed Melissa McCarthy in most things. Leslie Jones is hilarious when she wants to be. And under the direction of Paul Feig, who's put out three pretty decent action comedy movies, somehow this should be an amazing event. But it's not. I don't know what it is about this movie that myself and many others, I can't seem to get into it. I'm really trying to. When this film was first announced, I gave it a lot of rope. I gave it a lot of hope. I'm not inherently against the idea of remakes. Presence is there. The visual effects are amazing. Just take a look at all that. I think the digital work is very impressive. It's also great to see Slimer again. I dig Slimer because I was also a real Ghostbusters fan as a kid, so I don't mind Slimer returning. It's almost expected. But this plot line, apparently, of Chris Hemsworth being possessed by an evil ghost and being the bad guy, that I'm not so keen on. As you may recall in Ghostbusters 2, that was pretty much the plot. Why are we watching that movie again? I really have no answer to that. I wish I had an answer to that. I don't have for that. I'm hoping that it's only like maybe a little microcosm of the plot and comes in much later so we have some more time to get to know him but it's weird seeing that element come into play in this trailer and then on top of that they're teasing the reappearance of the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Mr. Stay Puff was iconic to a film that is iconic of its own era. They're trying to do their own thing with this film, but they keep coming back to stuff we've already seen before and just trying to spin it in a new way that they apparently think is going to be cool and hip and fun and fresh and funny. I'm giving it the caveat that this is just probably another very poorly cut trailer. I will frame it in that way. That said, I'm not impressed. I should be excited, I should be thrilled, I shouldn't be able to sit in my chair waiting for this movie, but part of me honestly wants to stay home. I'm not going to do that, I'm still going to go see the movie, but I am very worried about how good it could possibly be. Anywho, sorry to be a bummer on this morning, I just don't feel good, and quite frankly that Ghostbusters trailer did nothing to lift my spirits. That's all I have for you on this one. Check back tomorrow. I should have my Blu-ray review for the Bride of Reanimator Arrow box set up by then. Catch you later.